Hi and welcome to this video which is all about headstand. Maybe it's your goal for the new year to achieve a headstand. Then this video is really perfect to do maybe every other day, a few times a week. And in no time, I promise you, you will achieve a headstand because we'll do all the necessary drills and warm-ups and everything in this video and I'll also explain how to get into the headstand. So if you yeah, keep repeating this video, you will get your handstand. Like, I don't even question that. <laughs> so let's get started lying on our backs. When I started yoga, I wasn't able to do a headstand and it definitely was a goal of mine. And yeah, it happened quite fast because I really committed to the practice. So try and stay committed to it. Let's just hug the knees into the chest. Start rocking a little bit from side to side. And from here, we're gonna keep the right knee in and extend the left leg long. Interlace the hands behind your right thigh. And we're gonna to start to straighten and bend into the right leg. Just really gently here, easing into the right hamstring. And headstand is a combination of flexibility in the legs and core strength. So that's the two main things that we're going to work on in this warm-up is to just open up the legs and strengthen the core good now let's keep the right leg straight try to minimize any bend in your knee and maybe you just keep your hands on your thigh maybe you can bring your hands all the way up to your shin but try not to bend your knee so keep the right leg really straight try to keep the left hip fully grounded into the mat so we're not pulling so much that the left leg lifts we keep everything nice and straight here maybe you'll want to grab your big toe but going only here as deep as we can keep the alignment so depth is really not that important here it's more about keeping these straight lines to really effectively stretch the hamstring here taking a few deep breaths Let's hold it for three more breaths. Start to soften your shoulders, relax your face. Making sure again that everything is straight, no bend in the knee. And then slowly releasing and switching it out. So interlacing the hands behind the left thigh, you can straighten the right leg out and starting to bend and straighten into the left leg. Maybe noticing which side is a little bit more flexible. Good. And then we're gonna keep the left leg up, straighten the leg fully. Maybe you keep your hands on your thighs, maybe towards the shin, try to keep the shoulders grounded. So if you are up here, try to bring your hands lower and maybe spine down. That's totally fine. The more you do this video, the more you'll be able to like walk the hands up. And holding. Making sure right hip is grounded, right leg is straight. So the bottom leg, both legs, we want to have them straight. also hold the big toe here whatever feels good for you and whatever gives you most length here in the back side of the left hamstring holding it for three more breaths Let's slowly release and bring the right leg back up, left leg straight, so we're coming back to the right side. Keep the right leg as 
long as possible. Maybe again, pulling it into your passive stretch here with your arms and then reaching the arms above your head. Inhale, exhale, reach your hands towards the right foot. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift for 10. Nine, really lifting head and chest up. Eight, seven, six, five, staying with it, left, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, just hold for five, straighten the right leg, lift higher for four, for three, last two, and last one, deep breath in, and exhale, release, lift the left leg up, lower the right leg down, reaching the arms up above the head, inhale, exhale, reach up towards your foot, inhale to lower, exhale to lift, good, inhale, exhaling, eight more, Eight, seven, six, really reaching up, five, four, keep the left leg as straight as possible, three, last two, and last one, we're going to hold for five, lift your chest for four, four, three, last two and last one slowly release lifting both legs up arms by your sides and we'll do gentle hip lifts so lift the hip up without momentum and lower with the exhale so inhale here exhale lift inhale lower and exhale lift ten nine Good. Then seven, six. I hope you can already feel your core. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do the same thing and reaching the arms above the head. Inhale, exhale up towards the feet. Lift the hips. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, 10, 9, so good. You will not only learn headstand, you will also get a six pack. That's 7, 6, 5, stay with it, 4, 3, 2, and last one, reach up and release. Just taking a quick break. Ooh. Can you feel your core? Uh, reaching the legs back up, arms by your sides. We're gonna lower the legs, inhale, just as far as we can keep the lower spine in the mat. And exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale, lift. 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, maybe going even though with the leg, two, and one, you know what's coming, we're gonna hold, hold it here for 10. Nine, press the lower spine into the mat. Eight, seven, ooh, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's release, oh, that was tough. Okay, now from here, knees into the chest, let's start to rock forward and backward. And trying to come straight into our boat pose, Navasana. So coming up 
and balancing on the sit bones. Here, trying to sit in front of the sit bones, just move a bit here. So I'm sitting tall here with the chest, legs lifted, arms forward, or you can also keep your hands behind the thighs if it's too intense. But if you can, then reach your arms long, maybe even reaching the legs long. Let's hold it here, five full breaths. Inhale, exhale. Four more, inhale in, exhaling out. Last three. Last two. And last one, inhale and exhale cross your ankles rolling over the knees and coming straight into downward facing dog so plant your hands lift the hips walk your dog pedaling the feet bending the knees feeling into the hamstrings and downward facing dog is also a super good hamstring lengthener so we're really stretching the hamstrings when we're in our down dog so let's settle in here for a moment press your palms into the mat, keep the hips lifted, feet are hip distance apart. Try to take any rounding out of your lower spine, so tilting the sit bones up and holding it here for more deep breaths. So good. Maybe drawing the heels a little closer towards the mat. Last two. Last one, deep breath in. And exhaling out, walk your hands back towards your feet. And just folding over the legs here for a moment. You can grab opposite elbows, maybe rocking from side to side. Relax your neck. Good, and then walking the hands back to the front of the mat. Back into the downward facing dog, and then we're gonna walk the feet forward. So walking the feet to the hands, you can always bend your knees here, bring the feet hip distance apart. And this time, actually we're gonna bring the feet together. So feet to touch, interlacing the hands behind the knees, grab opposite elbow, and from there sliding your arms maybe closer down towards your heels, but keeping the stomach on the thighs, forehead to your shins, you can keep a bend in your knees as much as you need here. Lifting the sit bones up, full breath in. And full breath out. And release, plant the palms down, stepping it back into our downward facing dog. And from there, we're gonna lower the knees down and start working specifically on the headstand. So let's start by grabbing opposite elbows. That is the distance of the elbows in the mat. So place the forearms down and then release your palms and make a basket with your hands. So interlacing all the fingers all the way down to the webbing, palms down. And from there, we're gonna place the head into that basket, into the hand. So the back side of the head, kind of like the crown of the head is touching your mat and your hands are around the back of your head. Come onto your toes. So lifting the hips up, coming high onto the toes. And maybe this is already enough, then stay there. You can progress every day a little bit more or every time you do this video. To do more, we can walk the toes towards the head as close as possible so that we bring the hips over the shoulders. And then we slowly walk the feet back. Just a few times, walking the toes forward towards the face and walking your feet back, trying to keep the legs straight. That's why we need the hamstring flexibility to walk the feet closely towards the face. Really good. And walking the feet back. Nice, let's lower the knees, taking a quick break. So this is step number one. If you feel like, okay, wow, that's already quite difficult, then do this every time now we do this video. Do, it, do this now over and over again while I explain the next steps. You just keep doing that. Because once you feel that's easier, you can progress. So step number two, let's come back. Grab your elbows to measure that distance. Make a basket with your head, placing the head into your hands. You'll also figure out how the placement feels the best. That will just come with time also. 
and then walking the feet close towards your face. And from there, we're gonna bend the right knee, bring the right heel to your butt and switch. Right foot down, left heel to your butt. Really good, and switch. Let's do this five more times. Five on each side. Really good, really trying to shift your hips over your head. Last four. Three. And if you're afraid of falling here, then do this against a wall. Last two. Because we really wanna shift forward. And last one. Good. And slowly walking the feet back, lowering the knees down, taking a quick break. So yeah, you can always do this against a wall. The only thing that I don't want you to do is to jump up. So never ever, in, when you're in your headstand, jump your legs up because we have so sensitive areas here where we put a lot of pressure on, right? The shoulders, the neck, the head, that we never ever wanna jump into any pose here because the risk of injury is very high. Okay, now let's come to step number three. Bring your forearms down, making that basket, crown of the head into your hands, coming high onto your feet, and then bringing the feet close towards your face. Lift the right heel into your chest and lift the left knee up as well. And maybe you're just holding it here. That's really a great place to be. It takes so much core strength to stay here. So this is great. Maybe you wanna go further and you can straighten out the legs. And ta-da, we're in our headstand, trying to find the balance. Really good. And to come down, you can just bend your knees again. and slowly bringing the feet back into the mat. So good. I don't know if I was in a straight line. I'm also still like, still even though I've been doing it quite now quite for a while, I'm still afraid of falling. So I'm interested to see afterwards how it looks on the video actually, how, how I've been doing it, but I'm, I'm trying my best. Okay, let's do it on the other side. So crown of the head down, you'll also notice that you have probably one preferred side, maybe the side that's a little bit stronger, that foot is probably remaining on the mat. So try to challenge both sides here. So bring the left knee into the chest and floating the right leg up. And from there, lifting into our headstand. Drawing your inner thighs together, so that's super important here, to really draw the thighs together to keep stability keeping the core really strong. And when you come to that point where really everything is in alignment, that's where we usually get a little bit of a shock because we're just really floating and just so like without weight, yeah, so weightless. And that just can feel super scary. Okay, now let's slowly reverse. So bending the knees and coming back out. Good. I would love to hear how it's going for you. Please let me know in the comments or send me pictures, tag me on Instagram with like any progress pictures you have. I would love to see that. Okay, so let's wind it down with a child's pose. So knees together, bring your body on your thighs, crown of the head down or forehead down. Arms are just resting by the side and relaxing here. You can also bring the arms along, whatever feels better for you. And taking a few deep breaths. And stay here as long as you like. If you want to practice a little bit more, just repeat any of the steps where you're currently like at. And don't forget to do this video really, really regularly. Do these drills often. That's the only way you will achieve it. And it's gonna be so fast, you have no idea. So stick with it try it i hope you liked it let me know if you haven't already of course subscribe to my channel and if you have some more time you want to do something else than headstand try any of my other videos for example a deep stretch video that's also so beneficial for our way to headstand and yeah <laughs> i send you so much love i hope i'll see you soon <laughs> bye bye